Hi, I'm happy to see you again. Welcome to the Authentic Gardening channel. And today's video is gonna be about broccoli, but not your usual broccoli. My broccoli looks like this. It looks more like broccolini or broccoli rave, but it is actually broccoli. And in the past, I had a video about my way of growing broccoli, a lazy way. But today I'm gonna uh, repeat some tips that I had in that video. So I have a garden and I grow broccoli and the first harvest you have from broccoli looks like your typical broccoli head, big normal broccoli. The lazy way then you leave this plant to grow more and come back in two weeks, three weeks to it and you see new shoots that the plant puts out. And sometimes it's um, pretty decent size good shoots. And I like the stems a lot. They're actually very juicy, they're crunchy. And the way how you determine where to cut your stem is like it's supposed to snap. So if it snaps, it's soft, it's not tough, and it's very good to cook. Maybe you can hear how crunchy it is. And it is sweet. Let's try the flower. I actually like the stem better than the flower because stems are has more sugar in it. And it's good to pick it before it goes into flower when it's still a bud. It's tighter that way and cooks like a whole plant and um, these are pretty decent sh shoots but you can get something like this size small cute little thing is or if you are really really into picking tiny broccoli like I am you can get something like this so um, some people say it's insane to pick those but you know what I love my plants I love everything that they produce and gardening frankly is a lifestyle so for me I would rather go to my garden than go to a gym and I bend a lot and I do my picking and I get a lot of exercise fresh air sunlight that way so I don't mind picking something like this from my plants. So now we're gonna cook it all. I recently had another video about cooking chard, country style, and I could cook broccoli exactly the same way as I cook chard, minus ketchup. I don't like ketchup in my broccoli. I think it goes much better with chard. I'm all for very simple, practical and healthy cooking. Cooking from scratch, easy and fast. So today we're going to simply steam our broccoli. To cook our broccoli we'll need a simple uh, stainless steel pot and this very simple device for steaming vegetables and now I'm gonna put the short stemmed broccoli straight into the pot as they are all longer stems broccoli we're gonna cut in half and that's just how I prefer them to be served because I think this is a better serving size lengthwise. Now that our broccoli is in the pot, we can add a couple of glasses of water. 
the broccoli is not gonna cook in the water it's the water is on the bottom and it will produce steam when boiled and our broccoli is gonna be cooked with steam not in water it takes just a few minutes for the broccoli to cook and while we're waiting for it to be cooked I want to show you my little display of sweet potatoes that I'm starting for the summer planting and here are my babies about to start here is already starting the little sprouts back to broccoli okay the broccoli is all steamed up and soft now you can test it a little bit and uh, see that it's like really soft here it's ready yep and uh, while it is hot we can transfer it into this uh, glass dish now we can add a little bit of virgin olive oil to our broccoli this is very good olive oil ah it just smells incredibly and tastes it's like really strong olive oil if you like butter I know people sometimes they say like butter yes add a little bit of butter too if you're not a butter person don't add butter and now salt and a little bit of ground pepper mix it all together It's ready to serve. Okay, let's taste it. It smells wonderful. I'll be savage and eat it with my hands. Mm. Really good. Maybe a little bit more salt. Excellent, highly recommended. And if you don't grow broccoli in your own gar garden, you can buy broccoli and follow this way of cooking, and it's going to be the same or similar. Very good. And by the way, the water that's, that's there, the broth from steaming broccoli, makes a really nice broth if you add a little bit of uh, salt to it. Let's taste it. Cheers. Mm. It's pretty good. Stay hydrated. Thank you for watching and hit the like button. If you did like this video if you find it helpful and subscribe to my channel for more videos and tips on gardening and simple country cooking and I'll see you in the next video bye